Welcome to Rochester, Minnesota, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Texas, Oregon, Lincoln, Nebraska, Western Pennsylvania. I'm Lillian with America.gov and we're here to find out what Americans think about the 2008 presidential election and the issues that matter to them. Many Americans work for or own small businesses. We wanted to get their perspective on the elections, so we visited Jim at his furniture store in Rochester, Minnesota. Hi. Hi, I'm Lillian. Hi, Lillian, Jim Sather. Nice to meet you. Nice Thanks to meet for you. having us here. Yeah, you brought good weather. <laughs> I hope so. I see that you have a lot of sofas here. I have a good selection of regular sofas, of reclining sofas, bedroom furniture. And you've, you've been in the furniture business for? Since 1982. Uh, I was a high school dropout and uh, I needed to have a job and they had a temporary part-time position setting up a store and so I did that and you never know where the road will take you. Should we have a seat? Yeah, go ahead. So Jim, what are some of the issues that are important to you this upcoming election? Really the things that are most important to me are uh, taxes uh, and overall the economy. We also talked with two small business owners in Lincoln, Nebraska. Larry owns a neighborhood grocery store and Nader runs a popular local restaurant. So what are, what are some of the issues that you're concerned about this upcoming election? Well, probably a lot of the same things uh, most people are concerned about. The first thing always is uh, the economy. And then after that, I guess energy. You know, energy costs affect our business uh, tremendously. We've seen in, in recent months certainly a, a slowdown in, in people's uh, Pockets are, are getting picked by uh, high gas prices. The cost of fuel goes up and the cost of delivering products goes up. We have to raise our prices and it affects our customers. So taxes and the economy are something that really affect your business. What we're about is disposable dollars and so if they're paying more for, for gasoline or they're paying more for groceries, their discretionary spending goes down and, and so they may sit on that sofa another couple of years. It's going to be interesting to see uh, who has a really good plan to help with those, those kinds of things. Small business owners know their business will be impacted by whoever is elected, so they're keeping a close eye on the race for the White House. I'll make my decision on who I vote for based on which one's going to do the best to help small business. Uh, well, I certainly want, uh, want John McCain to win. I think it's kind of a night and day kind of choice. You know, more government or less government, higher taxes, lower taxes, experience, no experience. If somebody would support further research in alternative energies, regardless of any other political agendas, I would want to see that guy in the office. How is this election affecting your business? You know, we hope that whoever is the uh, president will be sensitive to issues that affect middle America and affect small businesses uh, because we feel small business is the backbone of, of America and it has been for hundreds of years. We've gone all over the country telling America's story. Stay tuned for more 2008 presidential election coverage right here on America.gov. I'm Lillian. Thanks for watching.